So the cathedral organ was built in 1898 by Father Henry Willis, who was an organ builder based in London, who built a number of cathedral instruments, including St Paul's Cathedral, Winchester, Salisbury, Truro, to name a few, and a number of concert hall instruments as well. The organ is played pretty much every day in the cathedral. We accompany the choir in services and provide organ music before and after services and during services as well. Um, it's also used as a recital instrument and players come from all over the world to play this fine instrument. So in 2017, the uh, works department had to replace the roof above the Triforium on the north side above St Hugh's Choir. So this provided an ideal opportunity for the organ to be, that side of the, of the organ to be removed and restored and some new blowing equipment to be installed. So there are over 3,000 pipes in the organ, some very small pipes, very high-pitched pipes, and some very long pipes. Many of them are situated um, uh, lengthways in the Triforium. And the pipes are controlled by stops. There are four keyboards, four manuals, each controlling different families of sounds within the instrument, and a pedal board as well. And these can be combined to make different sounds, different textures. So there's a huge amount of range of uh, tone on the organ and it's famed for its silvery sound and it, it can power around the, around the building. It's by no means one of the biggest instruments in the country but certainly very fine uh, homogenous sound it makes. <laughs> 